Whoa. Let's now take a look at this monumental 19th century volume here. My goodness. <laughs> that is a thick book. It's in a period uh, half leather binding with the compartments uh, gilt ornamented like so. We see there's a, a split here in the leather that's been repaired uh, from the reverse and there's a tiny little hole here that blends in visually uh, to the spine. The covers, uh, the edges, the extremities are uh, a bit worn on it. However, the binding does actually, believe it or not, remain uh, tight and sound, which is no small achievement for uh, a book like this. The binder has anticipated uh, the weight of the text block and this type of reinforcement here to the end papers, uh, to the covers, is original uh, to the binding. Uh, we see that it's 1883. It's a dictionary of history, biography, and geography, a new edition that's review, um, revised, corrected, augmented, uh, and it was once in a um, uh, monastery uh, seminary library, uh, but there's no external markings and there's just a stamp on the title page. Other than that, I do believe the book is uh, clean and free of any other markings. Uh, we see that the contents are absolutely clean, like so. It's a absolutely monumental work, no doubt uh, something like 50,000 plus uh, definitions and so on, naturally all in French, as the title would tell us. Uh, and here is even a supplement at the rear. Uh, it also covers mythology and geography, just a monumental book. And what's interesting is that oftentimes the definitions found in 19th century dictionaries and um, like so, like this one, uh, are different from anything you would read today. And in that way, uh, a book like this is still absolutely interesting and useful. And so if you'd like this in your library, it's available online from me, Brian DeMambro.